For most people, their own family has its beginning on a wedding day. The vows, the rings, the special clothing, the presence of parents and other family members, and the celebrations are all signs that there is a new and important life beginning for the couple and their community. Of course, not every marriage takes place in lavish circumstances. In many cultures, couples simply move in together with a brief ceremony with family and friends. The actual wedding may take place in the presence of a justice of the peace with one witness, or there may be several attending bridesmaids and ushers, a maid of honor, and a best man. For Catholics, the marriage must take place in the presence of a priest or deacon who witnesses and blesses the couple in a sacrament that they confer on each other. This sacrament is a covenant in which the couple binds their fortunes together for life. What makes marriage a sacrament for Catholics is that it takes place within the Christian community and through the church, sanctifying and sacramental graces are bestowed upon the couple and all those who accept the challenge of supporting their marriage. But this graced covenant does not take place in a single instant. It is the result of an ongoing journey of both husband and wife from birth to death. This journey begins with the first awareness of who we are as male and female persons and how we relate to others as children gifted with a particular sexuality. While much of this behavior seems to be innate, a good deal of it is learned, primarily from parents and other adults in the household and family. Children learn what it means to be male or female from the way adults of each gender treat one another. Boys who observe that adult males in their families are treated with respect will feel comfortable and secure as they look forward to adulthood. Girls, likewise, will look upon their own sexuality based on the experiences that their mothers and other relatives have with men. Further, children observe what expectations the adult world has of them as boys and girls. Regardless of what they may be told, children can sense through parental attitudes which behavior is appropriate for people of their gender. Like most aspects of personality and self-understanding, the sexual awareness and values of individuals grows through stages as they develop and mature. Through early childhood, young people begin to understand what pleases them physically and socially and begin to understand that gender has a great deal to do with social responses. There are, of course, countless stories about children's first awareness of their own sexuality and the ways in which it differs from those who belong to the opposite sex. Although these stories seem nothing more than the cute and innocent thoughts of children, parents should, from the very beginning, sort out misconceptions from reality. Boys should not be led to believe that the domestic arts are for girls only, nor should girls be dissuaded from athletic interests. Likewise, the time in our history that saw higher education for women as an optional luxury is long past. 